All right, guys. Um, me a culpa, I guess. Somebody a culpa, and if not me, I don't know who. Um, I woke up this morning, fired up this game, started recording, and continued, and found our heroes en route to the Stormy Peak. Um, I do know yesterday, as I signed off with you, I noticed I signed off like Twitch, and and I hadn't yet quit the game. I, I, what I recall in this objective reality I'm experiencing is that I went back in, saved, and that was the end of it. But either I, you know, Mandela affected my ass in some other universe, or, or I didn't do that, or, 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 or I'm just misremembering the cat walked by or something and I got distracted and I didn't do it because when I came back in it wasn't saved. It was saved back on route to Storm Peak. So, rather than subject you to the same damn thing, I just played through the same point. We went through the Storm Peaks, we killed the giant squirrel, our guy has a sharp tooth and went back home. That said, there are a few differences now to the reality I last left you with, and I apologize, but it's better we continue with this game as is than um, so let's continue. Um, the first reality shift you will notice is that Mustachio is no longer giving his quest. So we're not going to the Goblin Temple right now. This guy's giving his quest. It's Jester and this old lady. Now before we look at that, I don't remember all the details of their inventory or, what, or whatnot. I assume their stats are roughly the same. They probably leveled up to another, the same level. I don't recall. Um, we, we fought the same rough number of fights, you know, so it shouldn't be a big difference. Uh, he is still using Sharp Tooth. He's using basically the same equipment. At least as far as I can see. Um, still using the same equipment as before in the Storm Peak. The only big difference I saw was this. Um, he was using, at the end of uh, the... Well, I don't know if we bought something before we were going to go to the Goblin thing, I don't recall. But at the end of the Storm Peaks, he was using his hymn that healed like 40 some odd, 41 or so health, and gave you um, a defense, a bonus to your physical defense. Uh, traded that for this, which is 63 healing and no bonuses at all. That's about the only difference I really notice, other than we're going somewhere else. Let's find out where we're going. I apologize for this, guys. I, I, I guess I screwed up, and I can't think what else could have happened. Let's talk to Chester and see what his um, quest is. Ah, another band of adventurers. Why do you keep talking to me? Do I look like I would have a job for you? Well, you can go f <laughs> Wait, actually, I do. Someone broke into the library a week ago. It stole a book that is very dear to me. I used to read this book to my, uh, ahem, never mind. What does that mean? Is the other kid? He's ashamed of it? What the hell does that mean? Is he flashing, by the way? Look at his, look at his character icon. Is he flashing? Is he some kind of pervert? Uh, just find this book for me. I will talk to my friend the blacksmith about a reward for you. Um, at the Arcane Armory. I don't remember later. Ah, well. Oh, I guess he's Scottish. Ah, well. Okay, you're Scottish at this time of day. I do nothing for an old surly dwarf like me. Go we'll mind your own business. That's what you want, isn't it? There's just nobody you can rely on these days. One moment people are helping you, and they're playing nice, the next moment they tell you it's sawed off. Screw you, Chester the pervert. Let's see what Serena has. I think this is the sister of the dude who runs the library, if I remember correctly. Hello, young people. Sorry for not being too conversational today. But I just got bad news. I scried a little to practice my magic skills from the olden days, and I discovered something terrible. My old nemesis, the Arch Lich Grogan, is still around. Not physically, but his dark spiritual essence is still in this world. Gah, magic. Makes everything so complicated. The phylactery, in short, keeps him immortal. Grogan transferred his essence of being into several phylacteries. Magical items of different types. I thought I'd destroyed all of them long ago, but somehow one piece eluded me. Can you find and destroy it? We're going to accept this only because it puts us right back on track. She's sending us to the Goblin Outpost. Is that where the other guy was sending us? It was Goblin something. I assumed it was the Outpost. Um, interesting to me, I always assumed each character had an assigned quest that led you to one spot, and that, that was the only character that could send you to that spot. If the Goblin Outpost is the same place we were being sent before in the last episode, that was by Mustachio. It was a totally different person sending us there. I mean, the ultimate end result of the quest is the same. You get to the end of the dungeon, you find it interesting. I will accept that. That is very kind of you, and you are perhaps averting an even greater evil. I am sure this phylactery is in this particular dungeon here on your map. I saw it in my scrying, but a strong enemy guards it. So watch your back. And as soon as you have the chance to destroy the phylactery, do it. Read this scroll to make sure his essence is purged from this world. Alright. So let's go sell our stuff, etc. 
Um, I, I don't, I don't know what to expect. The goblin whereabouts, right? Like, I don't, things that make you bleed and things that poison you seem kind of likely to me thematically, but, uh, again, there are, there are these giant bearded snails you can sometimes meet on route to dungeons, and if you meet them, they say, let me tell you about a particular spot, what do you want to know about? And you ask them about a dungeon, and they give you details of, of how to prepare for that dungeon. I have never bothered writing those details down, and I don't play the game frequently enough to recall any of it, aside from the obvious ones like Golden Volcano, where you know it's fire. Um, so I have learned about this place. I've learned about the Arcane Armory, too. Um, but I don't remember a freaking word of it. <laughs> Do you see anything you particularly need? We don't need any specific, um, you know, uh, elemental immunity that I'm aware of, so it's not worried about that. I'm pretty happy with all my stuff, to be honest with you. Let's take a look at 64 damage. I mean, we could get this just as a straight up um, improvement over his glove or glove. Or this and just stick with a crossbow. That's not bad. The fierce shield devastation. We'll buy this. And we'll sell everything else. Let's, um,. Let's get out of here for one second just to get, uh, to get Mr. Skyborn or Mrs. Skyborn. I don't know if that's male or female. I'm assuming male. Um, <clears throat> set up with a shield. And let's sell our shit. Yeah, sure. That's right, we're going to save some of the stuff that's going to be for... Specific. We'll save the stuff that's for any element that we're not used to, uh, that we haven't had to deal with in the past. We dealt with air and fire, so we'll save any water. Anything that harms Wyrm or harms Leviathan, and anything that protects from Wyrm or Leviathan, we'll save. Want nothing else. Immunity of Curse is pretty good. Yeah, I'll save that for a second and check it out. Saving too much here. Can't save all this shit. Let me take a look at some people. Uh, come on, man. It's weird that the control scheme changes depending on what window you're looking at. She was using a plus three with 75 defense against air, but we just finished the air thing on Storm Peak, so let's put her with plus three and 50 defense against water. That way you can sell the air one. Or 75 defense against water. <clears throat> We're gonna be able to pick stuff up because stuff we pick up will be progressively better as we uh, as we continue to fight. I think so. Let's um not save everything here. Sell this one. Sell this. All right, fuck it. Let's go, everybody. Um, yeah, I think we're all set. No, it's what are we doing? Let's go to the temple. No, let's go to the library first. See if we can get a good, a better healing spell yet for one bird. Who shouldn't necessarily be a healing person. They're not designed for that, but they're not bad at it. What am I doing? Yeah, I'm trying to shop. Maximum you can have. I don't know. I guess that's all we can afford, no matter what. All right, off we go. Let's go. Oh, here we go. There we 
There's a huge blue snail with a green shell standing on the road. It has a gray beard, which usually stands for wisdom. These are one of the snails I was talking about. Greetings, young adventurers. I am the old snail of wisdom. My brothers and I have been traveling this island for centuries. We only observe and remember. We never interfere with fate. Do you seek wisdom about a specific location? Oh, we know the arcane armory is something we may have to deal with, so let's find out about it. Ah, the arcane armory. A dangerous place controlled by an alchemist who went mad during the Great War. You should prepare yourself for enemies that can stun you and make you soft. Beware of the insane alchemists. They wield powerful spells and have healing abilities. Weapons infused with a phoenix spirit could help you defeat the dark forces within. So we are going to want fire stuff. That's kind of cool. We already got it. And things I... I have literally already forgotten what he told us. Oh, things that make you soft. What was the other one? I've already forgotten. Uh, I'm recording it. I'll write it down later. Continue travel. <clears throat> Pale hand. You see a rotting hand reaching out from the ground. It seems to be moving a bit. Pull it out. One of your heroes grabs the hand and tries to pull it out. Uh-oh. The hand is attached to something. You realize you've just freed a zombie from his grave. It utters a low moan. There's three zombies, apparently. Let's go out. Uh, I've already done that, I guess. Let's do this one. Oh, I didn't even kill them. Much to my surprise. Huh. Even that didn't kill them. Jesus, they're taking some serious damage here, guys. These guys are tough. Huh. I'm hoping I'm gonna use Maggot Mouth. That can give me that infestation, I think. Wasn't so bad. <clears throat> Damaged pinnacle of compression. Ragged gown of indifference. Probably throw that out immediately. Anything we know for sure we're not going to keep, we'll just throw it out now and save ourselves having a root for it later. This we can keep for now, I guess. What do we have? Plus two. Immunity to bleeding. Plus two. Immunity to fire. Fire is not a likely thing with goblins. Maybe bleeding is. So that's a guesswork. This seems kind of logical to me. Plus three immunity to confusion, I guess that is. Sorry, we got him a shield last end of last game. Oh well. Didn't get one this time. Another puppy dog. You see a tiny puppy standing on the side of the road. It looks desperate. Let's pet it. Your hero start petting the dog with a power of love and passion. But suddenly. A hideous worm breaks through the ground. Everybody was just a decoy. Didn't we already see that one before? I guess we did. Well, screw you, decoy puppy. Poisoned, infested, and sick. <laughs> oh, shit. Um... Well, that helped. Somebody needs a potion. <clears throat> I assume that ring will be something to do with um, intelligence. We probably don't need it. We'll probably just throw it out. Well, color me surprised. Quickening ring of brilliance. Strength plus six. Dexterity plus six. Faith plus six. 
So he has strength plus four and protection against air. He doesn't need that as much as he could use this, say. So let's use this. All right. Oh, we almost went on. That would have been a mistake. All right, here we are at the Goblin Outpost. <clears throat> One second, guys. Just need some coffee. Alright, we're all set to go. Room one in the Goblin Outpost. I don't recognize this. I don't know if I've ever made it to here in particular. I don't know. I don't recognize this at all. For whatever reason. Goblin Elite, Goblin Spearman, Goblin Shaman. I didn't notice if it totally had no effect there. Another wounded, I guess. <clears throat> Landslide. Heal, heal, heal. Alright, first room down. <clears throat> Flesh rending morning star bloodlust. That sounds good. Shiny mitten of salvation. Useless queer ass. Queer ass, queer ass, queer ass. Of the phoenix. Uses strength, dexterity, and also a little bit of intelligence and a little bit of um, faith. I think he's sticking with what he's got for now. 74, yeah. Let's take a look at this dude, though. No. 66 physical. I mean, I do like the setting on fire deal. I think we'll stick with what we got for now. All right. I hate to waste these things. We have tons of them. I can use them for three health. That's just too little. A wolf rider. That's cool. They're not doing a lot of damage to us, but we're not doing a lot to them either. It feels like it feels like it's a bit um we're a little weak right now. Whether that's true or not, or whether we're just I mean we're not getting the you've seen the effective message pop up when we use the right element against the right monster, but there's also an ineffective one that pops up. We're not seeing that, so it's not like we're being totally useless, but it feels like it's a little bit tough. Our damage. Shit, that's our healer. We gotta kill this guy quick. Didn't do much to him, did it? Fuck. Alright. Delabra is a word I've learned from this. I've never heard that word before. I'll have to look it up. I assume it's some type of axe based on the image. Okay. I think we did the faith and life last, at least I did in my in this current playthrough, so let's give him double strength. Give him double dexterity. And him double faith. Alright, let's see what we got here. First of all, do we need to heal anybody? Yes. <laughs> 92. That's pretty good. 
compared to 81. Although it has these special powers that are pretty cool. Still, we're not often following up with the, um, with the, you know, if we inflict the softening of them so they can take more damage. We're not often following up on that because this guy doesn't use physical damage, right? He uses fire, so. Let's throw this out. And let's throw this out. I think I'm going to stick with what I got again for now. Let's give it a shot. Let's try at least for one for one battle. Let's try swapping this in for this. See if we like it or not. <clears throat> if not, we may really regret this. <laughs> if it proves totally ineffective, say. Oh, it did a lot of damage for now. Killed himself and gave himself that rage, which means he's he takes more damage, but he does more damage as well. Not that he'll get a chance to. <clears throat> Just potions, eh? There is a goblin healing staff. You know how we killed that storm giant and we got the club, the giant club that had the purple text. It's like a unique item that you can get from them. There's a unique item you can get from goblin priests like that. Uh, with a little, a little staff is really good for healing. I wouldn't have minded finding one of those. Alas, alack. Again, kind of a waste, but whatever. So I guess we're fine for now. Let's just keep going with this for now. Before the final battle, I may switch back to the Tooth. That way we can lower his physical resistance and then whoever the boss is and then just keep pounding him. But for now, we'll stick with the Delabra. You sense treasure behind a fake shelf. A hero may be able to solve the puzzle. Looks like this requires truly great intelligence. Um, I think we're just going to ignore it and leave it. We're at 19%, 10%, and 10%. That ain't good. I don't know what Just Smash it does, but I'm afraid to find out. Let's try once. A trap is triggered. But we did get the treasure, it looks like, maybe? We got some treasure out of it. We just took damage. All right, let's take a look at that. Let's get everybody healed first. So we don't forget and walk off. All right. What do we got here? Nice shield. Three and one. Maybe we'll throw that on him so he has a... Uh, Sure, because he's not using his bow anyway. <clears throat> this would heal, affect the whole party, but it would only heal 20. I'm not going to bother with it. I guess we don't have to get rid of it yet, but we'll probably have to soon. Definitely not going to want that. Five armor. Let's give him that fine armor of tedium. Seventy physical inflicts fifty percent of that. Nah, good. All right, let's go on. Open season. Um, select an item or skill to be used. Um, I sorry, I was looking at that um, that totem by my character. When we, when we entered the room with the shelf, I thought the totem was the center focus. So when I saw it here, I was like, how is there... 
How is there an object to be manipulated in a, in a combat? But there's not, of course. Apparently they can cause bleeding. I thought about just letting him burn to death, but what if it took a few turns? Maybe yeah, I should have. Let's save our special attacks for the final battle in case we need them. healing soon. Blood to death or burn to death. And slide. You know what? Let's try this old thing. All. So you see they all got different status effects out of that as well. Redemption. Fragile Arcus of Fury. Arcus, again, I'm not familiar with that term. I'm, I'm obsessed with different weapon names because I always have expansions for Caverns of Vescasian 2 in my mind, and some of that involves uh, what are they called exotic weapons. Um, so I want to uh, learn about strange variations of weaponry I've never heard of before, you know? So, eh. Don't want it for now, but... Ugh, that's terrible. <clears throat> Alright, let's heal some people. I guess that's it. We're good to go. Let's get rid of that um, troll fast. He's a little bit vicious. So the water is ineffective against the troll, I just noticed. <clears throat> Definitely switch back to the tooth before the final battle. If I don't forget. thing from a goblin priest. <clears throat> nope. Alright, one of these. Um, the only thing that's of real interest is this. Might save that for the graveyard. Because infestations are very, very, very deadly if you don't deal with them right. Still don't have to get rid of anything, so perhaps he won't as of yet. One more room and I'll switch back to the uh, sharp tooth, I think. <clears throat>
I was hoping he burned to death. He didn't. Not quite. So be it. Goblin Cavalry. Rusty sword of love. <laughs> Balanced scutum of darkness. We may keep a few of those things because I'm pretty sure the graveyard involves both cursing, like they curse you and they uh and they can infest you as like a common thing to defend against if I'm remembering correctly. So we'll keep the anything that has to do with that. Definitely get rid of this. And that puts us at 20. We are going to the final room, so everybody's healing up maximally. If they have any damage, they're drinking. And we are switching our dude back to the hammer, just in case, uh... Sharp teeth, just in case... Um... The monster's like the troll, and it uh, doesn't get affected much by, um water. <clears throat> I have no idea what's here. I don't think I've ever been to the Goblin Outpost before. It feels, yeah, this is definitely new. Get them. Get them. Their precious loot. Let no one escape. To battle. Um, so there's only one of them. We don't have to, so we didn't have to save these, uh, these things, mind you. Oops, I'm not trying to do that, that's for sure. 81 physical damage. Let's set them on fire. First shot. Get them burning so that they uh, keep taking damage. Eighty-two physical. Well, this is better for now. Shit. We could try and. Get him out of that bind. But for now, I'll just do this. Venom fangs. I'd say he's immune to soft. I didn't notice. shot to see what happens. He's immune to most of it, so it didn't have much of an effect. Oh well. And it's frenzy, which means it does more damage now. Although it also takes more damage. One second, guys.
Sorry about that. All right. Um, right back in. So it can't be him. That means it's got to be him. Which means he's got to heal him. Shit, man. This could go badly. I'm a little worried about it, to be honest with you. to go with our sword of love. <clears throat> okay. And we're back to double, aren't we? Yeah, and on this screen, <laughs> on this screen to change characters, we're using the left thumbstick. So on the one screen, you use the right trigger to cycle through your characters. On another screen, you use the or, or, or the triggers, rather. On another screen, you use the bumpers. And on this screen, you use the, the left thumbstick. So it's just kind of, um, kind of an odd control scheme. <clears throat> All right, let's get people healed up, man. Nah, they're fine. Alright, what do we got here? What is this pitchfork and such? Not great. Much to my surprise. I really thought it would be. Usually the, you know, the, the purple items you get from a boss are, are um, quite good, but what's the, what's the point of that? It seems really weak. We're gonna need the water thing soon, but not yet. Um, all right, man, we getting rid of stuff. We're getting rid of most of what we just found, to be honest with you. And let's get on with things. At the end of this, I will make sure that you witness me saving it, because I, I must have, I must have turned it off without doing so. I must have recognized my mistake and then intended to save it and then got distracted by something and forgot all about it and later just came in and turned off the Xbox. I can't think what else would have happened. You see a strange pipe sticking out of the ground. Let's reach into it. Your heroes reach deep into the pipe. But suddenly, the mushrooms growing around the pipe are starting to move. <laughs> Aw, cute little mushrooms. Um, well... Poisoned and sick. Looking man with snake like features is standing on the side of the road. Hello there. Hello there. Do you have a moment to talk about the Elder Gods? We are called the Sons of Dawn, and we would like to give you this little brochure. Let's listen to his beliefs, even though we know he's ultimately what we're here to destroy. <laughs> Let's find out what we're up against. Your heroes start listening to a huge monologue about Elder Gods, particularly about how to summon them and enslave everyone on the planet. A short while passes. The cultist monologue is coming to an end. And that is why I have to sacrifice you to our Dark Master. 
I'm sure you will understand. I've encountered him a few times. Sometimes when you listen to him, this happens. Sometimes when you listen to him, he's like, oh, thanks, nobody ever listens to me, and you have tons of experience, so it's kind of weird. Still fine. I thought with his sickness he might not do enough damage to kill it, but he did, of course. Vital Idol of Potency? That sounds good. Rotten Dress of Wind. Probably don't need it because it's the air base thing. Throw it out right away. Life plus six, strength plus six. What's he using? Strength and Dexterity. Well, that's helping to increase his damage here, so I think we'll stick with what we got here. Which means we gotta throw one more thing out. What does this thing do, like, compared to what he's got here? Three plus one. Two plus one. Can't inflict a curse if you hit with it. That's fine, I don't care. Stick with what I got. They can be still standing at the side of the road when we just killed him. The hell's this thing? Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> There's a rather strange looking egg on the floor. Clearly the egg from aliens. It looks like someone has placed it in a nest made of branches. Some place there. Let's look beneath it. As soon as you touch the egg, you hear hissing sounds. A family of angry snakes is closing in on you. I guess it's not the alien egg, it just looked like it. <clears throat> Poisoned. Nice, it's not a snake either, it's a snake. <laughs> <clears throat> Like the poison is doing ever more damage. We're going to have to heal it soon or he's going to die. Or, or kill this thing fast so we can get him a health potion. There we go. Well, let's definitely drink for him. Just enough to get him home safely. Oh, this might have been the last encounter. I'm not sure. Well, five, man. Strength plus six, immunity plus six, we're not gonna need that. But five, let's give him this, first of all. This is already five, but this will be five plus 75% defense against uh, fire. Against Phoenix people, rather. Let's give him the base four, five. And we'll throw that out. All right. Guess we need the health potion there, darn it. Alright, we made it home. I hope your return means they destroyed Grolkin's phylactery without an apostrophe after Grolkin. Good. I hope I... I mean we can destroy him for good now. You seem quite capable, my friends. One trinket to bind him, this was called. It's pretty funny. Meanwhile, more and more people are asking me to help find adventurers to do this or that task for them. They even want to pay me. Maybe I could actually be useful in the end, despite my age. I know how you feel, lady. Genuine Curse of Icicle. <clears throat> Let's see here. What does that do? I mean, that's going to be obviously a magic spell that we can't, uh, can't effectively use. Jesus, even he could do 42 with it. With that shitty intelligence. Can you imagine if we had somebody who was, like, intelligent? <laughs> He's got to do 51 with it. Yeah. Alright, um, let's move along. 
Um, maybe we'll save for next time the the new quests. We'll find out what quests we're doing, and then we'll um, and then we'll sell and buy appropriately. That dwarf is still flashing us. What the hell? I'm gonna save it right now while you watch. Look at this. I'm pressing start. I'm pressing save and exit. That's it. I did it. I did it. Tomorrow, hopefully, we'll be back in town. Unless there's some weird glitch in the game, which I do not surmise. I'm sure I I'm sure I fucked up, and I apologize. Didn't affect things on your end very much, other than tiny shifts in equipment. We even ended up in the same spot, for God's sakes. See ya.